What is up guys, we're back with another Michael Zombies video and today we are doing one window with randoms. Now, obviously I expected Michael Barrel to be the next video that I uploaded, but because it's been two weeks and they still have not uploaded it, and it, I don't think they're going to do it for a while based on what the Trello is saying. The Trello is saying 21 out of 38 for the current update. So with that being said, I wanted to make a video and this is what we came up with. Basically, I was playing one window solo, and I thought, well, if I've got a bunch more people in this, whether they're random or not, how far can I get? And, well, it might surprise you. One thing I do want to talk about before we actually start the video is what is coming to the new Michael Zombies game. So basically, while I was recording and editing, Joe actually just released the new intro along with some of the boss fights for Michael Zombies. So I'm going to show you guys those right now. So one thing that was said in the update is that this new intro will be skippable. So just in case you don't want to wait all 30 seconds for the intro because you've seen it a hundred times, you can now skip it, which I think is a huge deal for someone who's, who's playing the game quite often. You don't have to see it all the time. And now onto what I think is going to be stage two of the boss, which is the optional part of the boss, which is this new frying pan hit back the ball that Michael shoots at you and it does damage, I think that's what's happening here. So this one means that we're gonna get a new melee weapon, which is gonna be the frying pan. And then two, it's already showing us how to take down the boss at what I believe is going to be stage two. And then they have another clip just showing how strong the boss actually is and what it's gonna do to you if you get hit by the blast. So with all the news out of the way, drop a like, subscribe, leave a comment on when you think it's going to come out and what you think about these new updates, and let's get right into this. Basically, I had two main goals, the first one being get the flamethrower because infinite ammo, and then the second one being get the Walther because best gun, and getting the flamethrower pack-a-punch right away was amazing because I can pretty much carry for like... 20 to 30 rounds into this thing and we're only at 11. Having ammo on this map is probably one of the most important things and having a pack-a-punch flamethrower is gonna keep that. One thing I have noticed in multiplayer is that once you start using a flamethrower, if you aren't the person using it, it appears that you will always see that flamethrower on even if it's not on. So there are two guys in front of me that both have flamethrowers and as you can see, they are literally always on. There is no point where it ever turns off, which is just not possible. So clearly this is a bug. Another weird thing I found while playing the map was that the music only plays in like the direct center of the map if you're looking towards the direct center. If you aren't looking towards the direct center, you're not going to hear it, which is weird. One of the things I hated most about playing with randoms was the fact that anyone can spawn in to your game at any time. So right now we're in round 29, about to be round 30. And at this point, a lot of zombies already spawn. So if you add more people, the spawn increases. But the people who are joining in don't have good guns. They aren't going to have good guns, at least for a few rounds. So it just makes the people who are still in the game have to carry even harder, which kind of gets annoying when you're low on ammo. And at this point, I'm about an hour into the gameplay and we still aren't even to where I would be normally by a solo round. So obviously if you are trying to grind coins or levels, this is not the move. Do not play with multiple people unless you know that they're good and you can get to a super late round. Otherwise, it just takes a significantly longer time than if you just did it solo. Obviously, two people with the flamethrowers who both know what they're doing will be able to get to like round 80 or something because the flamethrowers will recharge with the pushback and it's great. 
Solo, obviously you can't do that because you don't have enough ammo, but with multiple people, you can get to those super late rounds like 80. This is the most annoying thing with randoms though, is that they will always, always roll a Walther, or in most cases, a flamethrower, and then just get rid of it. Like, why? You're getting rid of one of the best guns, why? Three times, three times did they get the Walther, and three times did they re-roll it. And then they re-rolled the Magnum too. And they ended up, they ended up with a PTRS, a PTRS out of every gun, out of every gun you could possibly want on this map. You wanted the PTRS, not even pack a punch. You didn't even want to pack a punch. I, randoms, I don't understand. By round 39, it has been at least two hours. I recorded for almost 2 hours and 40 minutes, and the longer it went, the more pissed off I got watching people roll Walthers and then just not using them. After all this time, after all this time, I thought I finally had it. I thought I had finally convinced someone to pack a punch of Walther. I thought they were smart. They ran all the way up to the front. And then they didn't do it. They didn't do it. They just sat there with the Walter not pack a punch. Like, we almost had it. I was so close. It's all I want. After two hours, I want one person, one person to actually, actually get it. Mr. Wick is too good, but no, no. And at this point, everything's pretty much just chaos. People are not high enough level or have good enough equipment to be fighting, especially with six people in the game. The amount of zombies that spawn is incredibly high and it's pretty much just me reviving people from here on out. Like, it is just me and my Mr. Wick until I run out of ammo. So if you guys liked the video, consider dropping a like and subscribing. I, I honestly don't know if I'm ever going to play with randoms again. Because honestly, it is kind of painful. And just again, if you want to get coins, if you want to level up guns... I don't really think that playing with more people actually helps unless they are really good at the game. Otherwise, that's it for me. Hopefully, the next video is Michael Barrel, but I don't know if it will be, just based on what the Trello is saying. I'm hoping two to three weeks at max, but again, I do not have confirmation on that. So I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.